Hi everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome to another Sunday challenge. This time we are using flare and sequins. So this layout went super fast. I'm talking this layout took me maybe 30 minutes to make tops. So um, I'm going to tell you what I started off with. The first little thing I started off with was the background paper which is from the stitched collection from Amy Tangerine. And then I brought out a whole bunch of 6x6 paper pads and I just went to town and started punching out circles. So I have a 3 inch punch, a 1 and 3 quarter, uh, 1 and a quarter, 1 and a half, 1 inch, and I just punched a whole bunch of different pieces of pattern paper. Some is from the Plus One collection, some is from um, some Amy Tan, and some, or from some Maggie Holmes. And then some is from the Chamel line. So I just kind of went through my stash and I just found some um, pattern paper that matched the um, already circles in the background. So I'm just kind of overlaying a whole bunch of, you know, pattern paper all over the place. And it's not actually going to stay where it was. So that's going to change. Um, the other thing I did is I took my big 3 inch circle punch and I punched these circles uh, out of the pictures. And um, so this one that I'm punching out, um, not this one, but I think the next one, um, I didn't want to cut my head off so I actually left a bit of a gap between. So I know I'm going to put that picture up on the top just because then it will match that edge. So. That's another food for thought for you if you want to do this one. And then I punched this last circle picture out of me. And I think I used a one and a quarter punch or a, uh, one in, a one inch punch. It was a tiny one. So then I'm just going to start layering these circle pictures as well as the um, circle punch pattern paper down. And then just kind of layer. So I'm just uh, gluing down. Uh, again, just kind of random here and there, all over the place, layering some of the punch pieces on top of each other, as well as on top of the picture, and um, yeah, just kind of doing that, and so not really any rhyme or reason to this. That's why this layout took uh, so little time, is it's just more or less just punching the circles and then just kind of layering them around, so again, just layering them up. Big circles on top of little ones, little ones underneath big ones, and so on and so forth. So, and um, I did not put a title on this layout, but I definitely did. Will do this after because I just noticed it. So, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to put a title. That's so funny. So anyway, I'm looking for some flare, and I had just perched my room, which I have a video up. So make sure you check that out. But yeah. I perched a whole bunch so I don't have as much flare as I thought I did but basically I'm just going through trying to find some flare that matches the layout uh, the colors and kind of you know symbols and such so I'm just layering pieces all over kind of on top of circles and um, as well as you know just kind of off on their own so just kind of keep the whole vibe of the layout the same and then um, I'm going to add some sequins on top of this as well. So I think um, the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go around the circles and do my journaling. So just kind of helter skelter, just kind of keeping the train of thought going around the bubbles. Some I'm going you know just around the picture and some I'm going around you know like all of the pattern paper bubbles as well so that just kind of helps make your eye feel like that's all cohesive so again just kind of as I go just turning the page so that it's easier for your hand to kind of follow and then I'm just again following um, you know my journaling around I didn't come around the whole back side of the photo like around that whole pattern paper but that's okay I liked how it just kind of finished off at that one little black bubble and then um, I'm going to get some sequins and I'm going to start sprinkling those around the page I think I'm just looking for them right now 
So I don't have a lot of sequins. Again, I uh, purged my room, so I don't have a lot. So I just dumped this baggie out, and I think I got this from Studio Calico forever ago. And um, it's got lots of yellows, blues, kind of like a coppery color. Um, I pulled the green ones out just because I didn't have any green in this particular layout. So I didn't use them. And so yeah, just kind of adding some glossy accents, sticking them down on top. Uh, and then that is pretty much the layout. So make sure you check out Sandra's channel and I'll put links for everything below. And thanks everybody for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.